order to survive, carnivores are forced to compete and fight in every hunt. As intelligent predators, leopards often hunt young prey, with warthog cubs being one of their main targets. So the leopard steals the baby warthog, and what happens next? Please follow along in this video to find out. So the leopard steals the baby warthog, and what happens next? Just look at the scene of the leopard catching the baby warthog. Do you see the notorious predator lurking somewhere? It is hiding behind the grass and stalking the warthog family. Realizing the opportunity to pounce had arrived, the leopard suddenly jumped up at rapid speed. Its target, a young warthog in the herd, With his super speed, the predator quickly grabbed the poor warthog. It only used a single pounce to knock down its prey and quickly carry it up the tree. Despite being notorious predators, leopards rarely enjoy a full meal because other predators are ready to rob them. Therefore, they've developed an instinct to carry their prey up a tree to eat and hide the prey securely. This time is no exception. Although not as large as lions, Leopards are endowed with extreme climbing abilities. Thanks to these abilities, they've escaped the scythe of death many times. Moreover, leopards can carry prey many times heavier than their body into the tree. It's really extraordinary, isn't it? However, this time, the leopard's hunt for water cubs cost it dearly. The warthog mother who lost her child was very confused. She did not ignore the leopard, but hung around under the tree, determined to wait for the opportunity to take revenge. In the end, the predator must face revenge from the warthog family and is fiercely attacked. Under attacks from its prey, leopards can be seriously injured or even die. The warthog has an ugly shape, but carnivores love to hunt this prey anyway. Wild dogs are no exception. Wild dogs are dangerous predators with the highest hunting success rate in the animal kingdom. They cause immense pain to other animals that they perceive as prey. We are witnessing a herd of wild dogs attacking a warthog, which, out of fear, jumped into the water to escape but was still caught. Finally, the prey is knocked down one by one and becomes food for the predator. It's got it. Warthogs usually live in underground burrows, but they don't usually dig their own burrows, preferring to take them from other species to make shelter. They thought it would be safe to hide in the cave, but no, 
just smelling the scent of the warthog, the predator will patiently dig a burrow to catch them. When it comes to burrowing to catch a warthog, perhaps no hunter has ever surpassed a lion. These lions are focused on digging a burrow in the ground. Perhaps they sense the presence of prey down there. In the end, it still couldn't escape the fate of becoming prey. A rich meal is the usual reward for a skilled hunter. This warthog is hiding in a den to avoid predators. It probably never thought that the place it considered safest was the most dangerous place for it to be. Hearing the warthog's pitiful cries certainly makes us feel sorry for it, but these are things that happen every day in the wild environment that no human can interfere with. The lion is considered the most dangerous hunter in the grasslands of Africa because each individual lion has great power. Moreover, they operate in teams with a large number, making other animals afraid. Lions also will not pass up a warthog if it appears in front of them. The lion was on his hunting trip and came across some warthogs looking for food. Immediately, the lion attacks and kills the prey in a short time. Finally, the lion pride enjoyed a full meal that they had just hunted after a hard, dry season. We see that the wild world is beautiful, but conceals the harshness and cruelty of the laws of survival. Weak animals often suffer double the amount of that cruelty. Without luck and vigilance, the warthog also falls before the claws of countless hunters. African savanna home to hundreds of animals and this place is also the arena of life and death. This battle is not for the weak. Immature animals are no exception. So how can the weak young survive under clutches of predators? Let's follow in the wildebeest footsteps to find out. Wildebeest fights back leopard to protect baby. In the wild, young are always a target of predators. Leopards are no exception. Wildebeest calves are the target they often attack. Of course, to hunt the young, the predator must confront the mother wildebeest, which is very aggressive. Although possessing a body that is not as large as other feline predators, leopards are endowed with excellent climbing abilities. Tall trees are also a place for them to hide when hunting. It is stalking with wildebeest calves seeing the opportunity to attack it decisively. After a predator attack, the baby wildebeest appears to have been injured and is unable to get up. The predator was about to come to close to knocking it down but was met with the wrath of the mother wildebeest. It rushes to attack to scare away predators to protect its young. 
The leopard saw this and could not do anything else. It could only hang around the nearby, taking the opportunity to release the young. He's coming right towards us. No way, he's gonna do it. We see the mother wildebeers doing a great job at risking her life to protect her cubs from the fearsome predators. Because they know that, once they protect their young, they can also become food for the predators. Overcoming their instinctive fear, they attack their predators bravely. Are the solitary African predators, leopards are perhaps the most feared because of their cunning toughness and extreme cunningness not only has toughness, leopards also have more developed alertness than tigers, the ability to camouflage and hide more skillfully than lions. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Thanks to their supple body, an exceptionally good and extremely intelligent bounce, their hunting ability is extremely high. They are very patient in camouflage, waiting and attacking their prey. So the animals that are targeted by them will be very difficult to escape. But wildebeers are also not weak. With their large bodies and sharp horns, they can fight enemies or ferocious predators. Despite his gentle nature, once the young are in danger, wildebeers will also fight ferociously to protect the young. Wildebeers often live in groups to improve survival. Because of the survival rate of boulder bears is only 50% when there is a herd to protect it. If the herd is separated, this ratio is even lower. They can die of starvation, disease and high probability become food for predators. The stray baby antelopes are nothing more than three pieces of meat offered to the mouths of the predators. Of course, leopards will not foolishly miss the rare opportunity. He takes down young prey quickly. Leopards usually do not eat their prey on the spot but they will carry the prey to a safe place and then enjoy it. This way they were able to finish their meal without having to worry about other predators bothering them. Not only hunting boulder bears, but leopards also often attack and knock down other young prey. Taking advantage of the grouse, leopard ambushes and waits when the prey is caught or gone. It rushes out and gives chase. Moments later, the leopard kills its prey and begins bringing it to a safe place to enjoy. It's lucky to be able to admire the hunting moments of leopards, isn't it? The battles are very attractive, but we still have to feel sorry for the prey. Wildlife is like that. Animals that want to survive need to adapt to those things to are, so they are young. For a young age, the wild and beast mother taught it how to survive. If you don't defeat the enemy, it will become a meal for them. It is an expensive lesson that Volvabeer's cubs only learn once in their life.
The fierce wild nature world seems to have no place for the weak to survive. Because they will face countless dangers from nature or predators. The baby deer are one of them. If they want to survive, they will have the protection of the mother deer. So once the mother deer is killed, what will be the fate of the young? The video about the fight to protect the wildebeest cubs has come to an end. How do you feel? Please leave a comment to let us know. And also don't forget to click like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you in the next videos. This is the channel manager. This is the video editor and this is the content creator.